Okay, for a lot of students, school may start Monday, but there's still time to sneak in one last day trip before summer vacation ends. You know it too. And meteorologist John Dawson has two ideas for you this morning with his latest one tank trip. Can I have a kiss? Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Well, this is Cindy, just one of the many animals you can see here at Bayou Wildlife Zoo. I started buying the land in 1980, and we bought a little bit at a time, and we got a zebra, and then we got a camel, and we got a couple deer, and then it just got out of hand. And my wife suggested that we build some trams and take people around. You go about two and a half miles, and you see everything under the sun. It's a different animal every time you turn around. I'd have to take you around on the golf cart and show you how many that actually come up. Sure, I'll take a private tour on a golf cart. What do you say, Larry? What are you doing? As we move through the 80 acres, it didn't take long to see that these are Clint's pets. Come see Daddy. Give me a kiss. See, she comes over and gives me a kiss. He loves to be scratched right up here. What do you say, girls and boys? What are you guys doing? Bucky, you in there with them? Thought y'all were gonna have a nest this year. What happened? 74 different species, nine of which are endangered, and a total of nearly 500 animals all around you. Come here, Pee Wee. 4,000 pounds run 40 miles an hour. Only see about 40 feet in front of them. That's why he stopped. Over here, Pee. Then you come back and you can go in the petting zoo, or you can sit here and watch the giraffe. Or we have a large picnic area where you can have a picnic also. is a great idea, but the zoo happens to be close to some really good barbecue. Well, I'm the fourth generation of Saldinos to be cooking in the Houston area. Joe's Barbecue has been in business since 72, since 1972. Uh, we've been here since 83. You gotta stop by and try it. Just gotta stop by. It's all about the barbecue. So today we have our certified Angus beef brisket. We have our St. Louis style pork ribs and our potato salad and our homemade coleslaw that we make from scratch, our beans that we make from scratch. Um, our barbecue is cooked slow over a post oak and uh, we slow cook it for 24 hours, our brisket. If you're in the area, please stop by on a day trip. We'd like for you to try our barbecue. We think we have the best barbecue in the area and uh, we'd like for you to stop by and give it a try. Back at the zoo, it didn't take me long to figure out the tram is where the fun is. The kids get a big kick out of seeing the different animals. Sometimes they can't go other places and see them. And uh, so they, they come back out here again. Some people got season passes where they come all the time. And we've never had anybody hurt since 1980, since we started out here. Uh, they, they just, uh, they're after your food, they're not after you. They all seem to get along together. We don't have anybody trying to kill each other or fight and stuff like that. And uh, they all get to run free. That's the big part. Not like in different places where they're in cages and pens and everything. And uh, we, we enjoy that and they enjoy that. And it's really been fun to do it because we've learned so much about all these guys. And uh, I don't know, it's just, I, I couldn't have done anything better. I'm meteorologist John Dawson. That is a wow. fun place. He always finds some of the best <laughs> places. You know, but I, I would go visit the camel on a Wednesday. Oh, yeah. Was it Chris <laughs> Stott? Pump day. It took me a second. I'm slow on Fridays. You. Well, I was thinking about Chris Stipes when he went there. Wasn't he kissed by a camel or a, a I think something? It was a camel. And, and he posted a picture of kissed by a camel, and I liked and, it. And, and the thing is, <laughs> camels have horrible breath. <laughs> 